Williston State College President Burnell Herning says the facility is moving in the right direction and he shared his thoughts with the state legislators during a meeting in Williston. Michael Anthony reports. From strong enrollment to new facilities, President Herning told the Interim Higher Education Committee there's plenty to be excited for. He says the college posted very strong numbers for its spring semester, having the largest number of freshmen in four years and the highest student housing occupancy within the state university system. That doesn't leave a lot of beds for growth, but we'll figure that out when it happens. The biggest room for improvement is attracting more students from northeastern Montana who currently represent just 12% of WSC's enrollment. Our scholarship programs cover 27 counties in eastern Montana and uh, thus we need to get the word out better. School leaders say they also need to build more partnerships with four-year institutions to add offerings in Williston that go further than associate's degrees. Why? Because we've got the talent right here and we want to keep it right here. The upcoming medical facility, funded through private and state money, will also help address the region's medical workforce shortage. They should be able to find a trained workforce here and it's our job as the college in Northwest North Dakota to make that happen. Herning also told legislators the biggest challenges the college faces are the shortage of affordable housing in the area as well as competing wages with the oil field. He says they need to find people who want to work at Williston State over the instability of employment that comes with the oil and gas industry. Academics are not the only thing expanding at Williston State College. Herning says they're also looking to add cross country, soccer and women's hockey programs. In Williston, I'm Michael Anthony reporting for your news leader.